Greetings and salutations, and yep, I was serious. Today, um, since it is May, I'm officially going to be doing May D or May, May, uh, basically to get the idea is I'm going to be giving, like, say, reviews on every Medea movie I possibly can, or in play. But the, the thing about the plays, though, if I'm not able to stream them, and also another issue, though, is I could order some of them, but then, you know, like, they might be coming a little bit late, and I just realized, like, say, if it comes in too late, I won't be able to do that one. So, most likely, I'll probably start off with the films first, and then I'll probably go into the plays, most likely. But, today, so the first fil a film we're going to be talking about, discussing, is Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Um, the film was released in 2005, and it's based on Todd Perry's second play, based on the, or, Diary of a Black Woman. The film was directed by Darren Grant. It was written and produced by Tyler Perry. The film had a budget of $5.5 million dollars. And a box office of fifty point seven million dollars. The cast includes Kimberly Ellis as Helen Simmons Carter, Steve Harris as Charles Mick Carter, uh, Shamar Moore as Orlando, Cicely Tyson as Myrtle Simmons, Lisa Marcus. Marcos as Brenda, Tyler Perry as Medea, Uncle Joe and Brian, and Gary Anthony Sturgis as Jameson Milton Jackson. Sorry, I was about to drop the pad. So, get the whole gist of Dive Black Woman. The film is about Helen Simmons Carter, who has rec recently. This film came out in 2005, so I feel like there's a bit of a cutoff date. If you have not seen the film, I say come back, come back. And if you have what, if you have seen seen the film, I'm gonna go ahead and turn into it. So the film is about <laughs> sorry, Helen Simmons Carter, who has basically been kicked out of her, out of her house by her husband of 18 years. And basically, she goes to her aunt Medea, who basically helps her, like, say, "Girl, you need to you need to show us her own way of tough love." And the whole film is about her trying to get it back into her life and bring it back together. However, she learns to love again, and because the film is a romantic, dramatic comedy, a rom comedy comedy rom dramedy uh so but yeah um some of the things so i gotta say something since i have watched a lot of the tyler perry films that even though this film was written by tyler perry it feels like this film he was a bit restrained because he's not constantly riffing off other characters, like, say... I mean, there is scenes where he does it, but it is just quick bits and, you know... It's like, joke, joke, okay, dramatic moment, joke. It's not, it's not like, say, we're gonna do the same joke, joke over and over again. Um, some of the, like, say, memorable, uh, funny moments, I'd say, is the rivet scene where, uh, Medea and Helen are at her husband's house ripping Charles' new girl's clothes. Charles' new girl, where, where they're trying to rip her new clothes. And, of course, the chainsaw sequence. I wish I was originally gonna have a clip right here, but copyright claims and all that that and I just I was gonna do that but I decided not to 
And some of the good things I'd say about this film, the camera works pretty nice, the lighting is really good. And especially for the makeup for Medea and Joe is really good. Especially since this is the first time we've seen them. On oh, film, that is. Um, they have appeared in Ty Perry's place. So this is the first time where the characters actually ha given, like, like, I mean, I'm not saying that in, uh, like in theater you don't get great makeup. You really do, having worked in the theater, in theater, like when I was in college. Um, but I gotta say, Gary Anthony as James and Milton Jackson, any kind of, any time when you see him on screen, it is kind of intense. He is one scary guy. Um, I gotta say, um, the romance between Helen and Orlando, it's really good. Um, the, both Shamar Moore and Kimberly have really good chemistry. They really do. So when they get together, like whenever it shows them out in dates, although it does feel a bit like a music videos video, since the director did music videos, and this was his first film at the time, it still feel it still seems kind of natural. Like there's really chemistry. Um, and the dramatic moments are generally well done. Heck, even Brian has his own subplot with him and his wife, um, Brenda, who in the film is a drug addict. And she it shows her like going like going you know, trying to get better for her for herself and for her daughter daughter Tiffany. And one of the more one of the more um, it also I got to say that um, Lisa Marcos she has a really great stringing voice singing. I got to say one of the moments um, when Charles walking when he's in the ch church using the cane to walk because of because of like basically the spiritual. When he's at church, it really uplifts him. That's this is very touching. And Helen's big dramatic um, monologue, where she is the, the salad sequence, where she is. It wasn't the salad sequence. It was when she is yelling at Charles after ha he has gotten paralyzed. Because, um, oh yeah, it was, Milton had gotten, because he's going to get, he ha had done some crimes, so he basically shoots him, and then he gets paralyzed, and she, she basically, the model is really good, it's really good, and I was really surprised, like, looking back at it, seeing the how the film actually really is really good. I mean, fifteen percent on Rotten Tomatoes, fortunately. But then again, sometimes critics can be right. Sometimes they can't be. But then again, when I went to college, I also did a little bit of had to learn a bit of how to do some critiquing. And they say, okay, this body, like when this actor is using their body motion, or like when they do this, that. So yeah, you, when you work, when you uh, when you go to when you've gone through college and done learned theater, you kind of realize, okay, so this actor is pretty dang good because compared to film and theater, you have to be able to give it your all and your most intensity whereas on film you can do an order take but the take but overall Diary for Mad Black Woman is a really good start for the character of Medea even though she's not the lead she is but it's 
still a very good film. But what do you what do you think? Um, do you like Tyler Perry? I mean, not Tyler Perry, Perry's, but Dark Mad Black Woman. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Put your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know. And I'll see you next time. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.